Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crack of Dawn. Uh, with me tonight is Nina, uh, one of our members. Uh, loads of you will know her already from Level Method in November when we launched the Level Method. Uh, both herself and Shahida was um, selected that we was going to follow them around. And as we mentioned in the last episode, people got COVID, things kind of fall into the wayside. But now it's the new year, we're aiming towards the open. We're back and we decided to bring uh, Nina in to tell us more about herself and obviously what she expects for the Open. And then what we will be doing is throughout the Open, we'll be following both Nina and Shahida through the Open and see how they are faring. No pressure. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so uh, welcome, Nina. Um, let's start quickly just to tell our members uh, more about you, if nobody knows you, who you are um, and how did you end up at Dawn? Right, my life story. No, 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 just quickly. Oh. Uh, so local East End lady, born in Forest Gate, lived with parents just off Portway, so just by the box for a long time. Now live in Plasto. Um, teach in Dagenham in a primary school, assistant head teacher. So it's nice to come and stress release yes. at dawn and yeah. forget life stresses. Been at dawn maybe three years, I think, mm. now. Yeah, a good year before lockdown. You, you had a yeah, big chunk. Yeah, about a yeah. year before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all went, all went to pot. Yeah, heard about it through Hannah and Jackie, actually. Hannah, Doctor, yeah. um, been a friend with for years, and she was coming here and would like, show videos of this weird gym that looked very strange and scary. And then worked with Jackie, and she also mentioned it. So okay. ended up getting sucked in. And then prior to that, did, did you just go to a normal gym? What did you do before CrossFit? Yeah, things like aerobic stuff at Atherton, mm -hmm. was into Zumba for a bit and body yeah. pump and yeah, did or even did some Afro dance with Shahida, which I don't know if he mentioned. He did mention it. It was an Afro dance class. He in the last Afro episode. Dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, actually not referred to, you know, back talk to that. about him yeah. on my episode, yeah. no, no, but no, there no, was no, just no. this amazing dancer there. Turned out it was Shahida. And then this is where we are oh, all these oh, years oh, later. Okay. Yeah, just this incredible dancer. And it was it was old Shahida. Oh, just um, the group. It's just amazing. Yeah, the boy can twerk. But um, anyway, oh, I won't okay. tell you too much about his story. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so things like that. Did a few kind of challenges, like one-off things. I like did London South End bike ride. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to train for that. Did a three-peak challenge on my sister where you okay. do yep. climb three peaks in 12 hours or weird like challenges like that. And then just normal gym, just got so boring, not, mm. not motivated at all. Yeah. And then found Dawn. Yeah, so have you always then, like you say challenges and stuff, have you just always been quite fit, always interest you? Or? Not, definitely not sporty, gymnastic-y as a kid, more into okay. sort of dance. Okay. stuff no definitely not sporty not particularly cool athletic sport. yeah just not particularly asked and okay. then and then it was more i suppose as a teenager or late teen, you start getting a bit more into like body image and stuff yeah. and think about for weight loss you wanted to do gym and stuff but just would get bored quite quickly unless yeah. it was something like dance where it was yeah i don't know a bit more fun but yeah gym just found just too boring yeah too dry Okay. Um, needed someone to kick you up the arse and That's right. shout at you, yeah. which we've now found. Which never happens at all. Which we never, never happens. Shout they just very, they make very them. polite suggestions yes, and, you know, to work harder. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just <laughs> yeah. call people on their BS, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Was it don't be shit? Isn't yeah. that the, let's get <laughs> shouted at us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so Jackie's then the culprit, Jackie. Jackie and Hannah, definitely. Uh, Jackie's got slightly more of a bullyish edge than Hannah. Yeah. Um, and how do you know Jackie? Is. Like, So we came, we crossed paths. So in the school that I work in, because she's this big autism hotshot specialist, mm -hmm. she came in to do some advisory work in our school. And I'd known her years back in the same way. We'd crossed paths through special needs yeah. in schools. And then... She rocked up with a dorm yeah. t-shirt. Yeah, then, yeah, full yeah, kitted yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. weights at lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, and somehow got talking about it and said you should come along. So did the... I think you used to do the 10 the, sessions or something. Yes. There was something you used to do, like yeah. a trial. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. was just instantly hooked and just thought, because initially I was like, there's no way I'm going to spend this money. I'm going to say to Jackie, yeah, yeah, I'll come along. Yeah. And then instantly it was like, yeah, have my money. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yes, and it's crazy. It's crazy how these things evolve, right? Yeah, so I remember yeah. we all, and I remember starting and not have any idea of marketing, not knowing how to market this stuff out. Make the cardinal mistake, which I'm sure loads of gym owners have done before, is um, I went to Groupon. Mm. I was like, any marketing is good marketing. Just get people in. You know, will be so amazing that they would just go like, oh, yeah, you know, this is really good. And I remember running the Groupon campaign and just people go like, oh, yeah, this is great. And then just never come back. Oh, and okay. you're like, oh. And then I think it was off the back of that that we created this whole 
if I can sell you in 10 sessions, it was my thing. If I can have you for 10 sessions, we can we can yeah. rub off enough for people can go like, oh, yes, this is something that we want to work towards, yeah. right? Well, it definitely worked. Yeah. So. Well, great. So <laughs> now, you know, yeah, because you stayed. And I think <laughs> yeah. it's amazing. We've only really realized the other day, again, looking into going into this open and stuff, we really still have uh, a handful. We always kind of focus on the members we've lost during lockdowns. And mm. I'm going to talk about lockdown in a minute. But you forget that you've got this handful of members that's just been with us for like five, six years already. You yeah, know? yeah. And you, you, you kind of almost take them for granted. They've, they've just always just been always there. Just always there. Yeah. Um, but there's actually quite a big community that's just been consistently there, which yeah. we are obviously very grateful for. Um, but let's round back to lockdown. What was your experience in lockdown? How did lockdown affect you fitness-wise? Did you keep up with the fitness? Uh, what did you do? So initially just devastated because I think by that point, CrossFit had just become this obsession that mm. all I wanted was one of those people like, you know, have I told you that I go to CrossFit? <laughs> um, one of those <laughs> annoying people. So when gyms were shutting, yeah, I was just thinking, oh, mm. fuck, this is it. It's all going to go out the window. Yeah. I'm going to lose everything. And it just started to get a little bit more confident. Yeah. Um, but so then the home workouts, you know, you're a bit like, oh, you know, is it really going to be that good? But actually, yeah. because there were the options to do the Zooms and there was like everyone sharing on Instagram if you've done that one today. Yes. Still posting scores and things like that. I really surprised myself that I did keep doing it. Um, and I think maybe missed two of them, the whole lockdown. That's I made amazing. sure I didn't. Or if I missed one, I made sure I caught up and it almost just became a bit yeah. obsessive. Yeah. Because um, what else was, was there to do, right? Well, so exactly. Yeah, was yeah, like, it was the nice bit of the day in between yeah. shitty working from home. That's right. And then the Zoom ones where we were doing stuff together that was really cool and I think there was even when I think if you couldn't make say the seven o'clock in the mm. morning zoom it was recorded so even that's not quite the same yes. doing it with everyone yes. you could do it along and pretend you were yeah so yeah, yeah just kind following of, along yeah. yeah definitely definitely got got me through it was the only time I mastered well mastered pistols was during lockdown now I can't oh, do no. them again <laughs> so I need to get them back better than me I'm I've, another lockdown. I've never been able to oh, don't make I'll, I'll teach you I'll teach you I'll show you. <laughs> I, I always blame this the long legs like, oh, like, I don't nice. know where to with yeah, my feet yeah, and stuff yeah. okay. we'll, we'll work on it it's good to hear that you were like that obsessive well obsessive is probably a hard word but that on on it with the classes and missing a few during the first lockdown yes how did the second lockdown go? Were you still that? Because we, what we found was a lot of members that was really on it on the first yeah, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. The second one, they just went like... It was a lot what? harder because yeah. for us, schools were... Well, they never really shut, oh, yeah, but I was back still, in. Yeah. So I was never really at That's home right. for that long. Um, so I was still trying to do them, but it was obviously in the evening after work yeah, and it wasn't and it was quite cold. the same. And yeah, it wasn't summer. Yeah, it wasn't quite the same. But even then... I think I did stick with it. Oh, right. I didn't miss many because okay. I think it became a bit of a ritual then. It was like, yeah. well, if you start missing too many, that's it. You've lost the whole thing. Yeah. And I was also shit scared of coming back and, and not being able being to do so anything. Being so bad you can't do anything. Being yeah, yeah, so yeah. unfit yeah. again. Um, I think I was probably fitter in the first lockdown than I ever have been yeah. <laughs> because it was the only thing you could do. Yeah, and um, we kept on moving. And I think it's also the nature yeah. of the workouts that because you couldn't do that much lifting, obviously everybody had a weight or something. Yeah. Like your, your engine, your cardio just really yeah. got good. Right. Yeah, and then I think was it when did the running challenge come out? Was yeah, that, that was lockdown? the January. That was the second was lockdown. The second, yeah, lockdown. second lockdown where we just tried to be as creative as yeah. possible. But that was a good kick up the ass because I don't mm. like running. But seeing other people doing it and how you had it broken down into your depending Weeks. on whatever level yes. you were at, and it was kind of nice. I think I saw you in the park one day as I was yeah. doing one of my little five ks. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but that was yeah, just another. That. Yeah, yeah. And you was like, thing. can't talk don't now. Talk to me. <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly what. Like, can't talk now. Can't talk now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. But it was nice because it was another thing to do and another challenge. Yeah. And again, like following people on social media and seeing, yeah. oh yeah, they're doing it. You still felt like oh, sad. This, Part of that community yeah, was still yeah, there, yeah, yeah. you know, even though you were all. Yeah. And it is a buzzword. And I think people that are always from the outside always look in and they, they kind of like kiss their teeth at this, oh, you know, CrossFit community. But there is yeah. there is something, and we've mentioned this before as well, there, there is something in this shared suffering that, you know, we're all in this together. We're all doing the same workout today, yeah, right? Yeah. Even if it's in our front rooms, it sucked for everybody, yeah. you know? <laughs> and, and, and that's always nice to kind of feel like you're not the only one just like, trudging through this kind of workout you know yeah. people on the other side of the screen still doing it and still really hard and really challenging yeah, just because yeah, it was absolutely. a home workout yeah. it was still a killer it yeah, wasn't yeah. you know yeah, it was easy no, yeah well, it wasn't any Zumba was it no no definitely not no, that's no. it what do you think in your words what sets Dawn apart from a typical Atherton Leisure Centre experience or a you know commercial gym or 
you know, the Zumbas or the hikes and stuff that you've done? You know, is there a difference for you and, and what is that? I think definitely where we just touched on the community thing, mm-hmm. I think that feel of, I don't know, meeting so many people and at so many different levels and very, very inclusive, whether it's mm-hmm. age, ability, whatever, it's, you don't feel like, you, yes, you do get the grunty, amazing athletes yeah. or, you know, the people you just watch and you're like, wow, yeah. but you don't feel completely shit inadequate or yes. inadequate all the time. It's yeah. not like that. Um and it's a laugh and it's quite, you know, people cheer each other on. I think that was always quite cool. Mm. You know, that if you're the last one to finish and feeling a bit shit, people will always cheer mm. you on and then you do yeah. the same for other people. And it's just a nice, I don't know, but it's not in a, it's a good kind of pressure yes. that people are cheering you on, but it's not yeah. like a this bull- is something bullyish. We, yeah, it's something yeah. that we mentioned last week. And I actually put the question to Shahida. So I'm going to put the question to you now as well. Are you the person that wants people to stand around you and cheer or do you just want to be left alone to finish your workout uh i think when i first started that filled me with complete terror yeah and now there's the terror but i also kind of like it because it does make me work harder it does make me get that last rep in because you feel like you've got someone kicking up the ass yeah in a nice way not too absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. you know not too much that it's I don't know, it becomes actually not enjoyable. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to remember that. I know. But, <laughs> I'm but be there part one of day. the community and stuff, like, like, oh, yeah, this is what we're going to talk about. But just, you know, especially in, in an open scenario and stuff, like I, I am yeah, the worst version yeah. of myself. It's just, you know, there's this sweat and snot and everything everywhere. And people just stare at you and go, come on, you can do it. And you're like, I've got two more I reps. really can't. <laughs> I really feel like I can't yeah. do anything else. Your only experience of CrossFit is with Dawn, right? Yeah. To an extent. But yeah. what, how do you feel about CrossFit um, as as a methodology? I mean, you, know, you might feel anything, you might not. But how do you find this compared to anything else that you've done? I think I like, I think it's the variety that, you know, you get key things that you know you're going to expect in a class but mm. even now and go to a class and do something like, oh i've never done that before or, i've never heard yeah. it explained like that before or the workouts can just be really different i don't know there's just a variety it's not oh same mm. old same old, same old thing, yeah. it just feels very very different and because of all the different coaches you might get a slightly different experience or slightly different style yeah. it's not just all barbell work all yeah. the time or yeah, it's, yeah. you know there's lots of core stuff yeah. i think now what i'm really enjoying as well that there's more stretches at the end things yeah. like that a bit, a bit more holistic more. approach now. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The level word, method. Yeah. yeah speaking of the level yeah. method like <laughs> that was really scary because i thought oh god it feels like a test when i first mm. saw i think you must put the on i think the word assessment was there and obviously working in a school you're like, oh fuck so, like, I don't I want to every be teacher every teacher <laughs> sent me like uh, yeah. well, what's this assessment <laughs> thing and, and, and i never thought of it until i realized yeah. well, these are all the teachers and all they deal with these assessments and there's always these arguments about should you assess yeah. people and should you call it a test <laughs> and and I was like adamant that we're not going to talk about tests. We're going to say assessments. Yeah. But there was there was a bit of a hesitancy from our members. I mean, you hear um, you hear test and assessment, and you think, oh, pass fail, and oh, I'm going to yeah. be shit. And, yeah. But actually, yeah, it really, really has been really interesting. And the um, color bands. Mm. Sometimes I'll look at them and think, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do that one. And then actually, when you do the warm up or whatever reason, get talked through it, yeah. and then you you get the suggestion, don't you, of which yeah. color you should do. Yeah. And actually, I'd nearly always really surprise myself and go the one higher than. I kind of thought I would be able to do. And Um, I think also because in the beginning, in November, when when our major, I think the message in the beginning for us was just to, um, we just want to get you on the map. Yeah, yeah. And I think by, um, we might have pushed a little bit harder, but for us it was a massive effort trying to get everybody through and on the map. I think some people might have underperformed on that first assessment. Um, That's my personal belief. I think people are kind of like, okay, well, I'm on the map. You know, and and now I think the next time we go through uh, a global assessment throughout the whole box, I think it will be quite a surprise for people to see. Mm. Yeah, they probably would have would jump a couple of blocks at least. Yeah. Um. You know, and even perhaps like a whole color in certain aspects. So yeah. that's what we're excited about. And I think uh, the thing for for us with level method is that you know now that we're on the map, it's important to know where you are on the map. But I think what's more important is understanding the very next thing that you need to do to progress. To get to that next. Yes. Yeah, next Whereas time. I think before it was always just this <clears throat> massive mountain of fitness and you might look at this, uh, you know, athlete in the gym and you go like, how do I ever get there? Yeah, yeah. And now we have a way for you to get there. Yeah. You know, yeah, we can break, break those down. Yeah. And it was really fun doing it on the, was it the Friday nights when loads of people were there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really nice puzzle doing it together and watching each other or judging each other. And yeah. 
which is good fun. Before it came um, too cold to do it. And before, now, yeah. Hence why we're doing the yeah. Open on Saturdays and yes. not Fridays this summer. Good plan. Right, good so plan. speaking of the Open, yes. how do you feel? Are you are you ready for it? Uh, no, never ready. Um, yeah. No, I'm excited. Well, excited and nervous. First one, I think. I don't think I've been there very long before we did the 2019 That's one. Right. yeah. And obviously we bullied into doing it. I'm yeah, really I surprised. think we always just walked around. You're doing the open, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Just, just like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it was, it was scary, but it was actually really, really fun as well. Mm. And I think each one I expected, oh, I'll just get time capped in everything. But yeah. at least you had a go. Yeah. Maybe got time capped once, I don't know, but did manage to finish them. Yeah. Got hit in the face of a war ball as is standard, isn't it? Isn't that part yeah, of it happens at least CrossFit once, right? initiation. Yeah. yeah, been coming to all my many CrossFit injuries, if you like. Yeah, let's time. list them for all the newbies <laughs> to get really scared of <laughs> It's fine, you bounce back. Um, but no, definitely in that first, I think it was 19.1 or something, I think it was like 19 war balls and then maybe 19 calories on the rower. The rower, yes. Definitely got yeah, hit in the face a few one, times yeah. with a war ball. But I think, yeah, each one did surprise myself. And then yeah. last year, although, because it was locked down, it was a bit shit. And like, yeah, it was all over the place, wasn't it? Yeah, and, yeah. But, but I still did a few of them. And it was... So you had Tina as your coach doing the Open in lockdown? Yeah, not quite the same as the yeah. previous Open. A bit, bit weird, but still nice to take part. Um, yeah. So I think the first one, she was watching me on Zoom doing wall walks in my dining room. Counting reps. Um, yeah. yeah. Amazing experience when somebody <laughs> shouts over Zoom. Yeah, yeah like... no rep. Yeah. <laughs> and I was practicing beforehand and my other half kept no repping me. So I had to... Re- oh, did you do that deliberately or did you explain him Like, listen, no, this just... is not... Just, oh, being it? It? just being an asshole. <laughs> um, and then skipping in the dining room as well was a bit silly. Yeah. And then the other one we did in the park, and that was actually quite fun being out in the park yeah. doing it and people, yeah, yeah. people watching. Can but, you remember which one that was? I think that was box burpee, box jumps and snatches. Okay. So they took the equipment out think, into the yeah. park and they, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it was quite, quite fun being in the park, yeah. but just not the same as doing it with everybody in the box no, and... that's right and i think we were really lucky with the park having the park around as well and i think between yeah. the pre the two lockdowns before as well before we could actually open up the park allowed us to take some yeah. lifting platforms in which was i mean that was such a, a bonus saver for us yeah, as well yeah. right anything you might be looking forward to in the open like things that you would like to show up in the open and then things you definitely don't want to show up in the open well i would have liked to do wall balls again and not get hit in the face with one but i probably yeah, will sat now saying that yeah, yeah. um upper body stuff is just always i find really really difficult things any pull-ups in push-ups that's i think that's yeah. where on the level method that's where i was scoring a lot lower, lower. i had a really spiky kind yeah. of profile like some of the weightlifting and cardio was like purples yeah and then some things i was like yellow and that's okay. that kind of stuff but also now focus um, your weakness on that have you been working on those weaknesses since november a little bit yeah. okay. not as much as i should but mm. i tend to stick to all the things that i enjoy and not do as much of the stuff mm-hmm. that I don't when I used to do PT with Tina which I've not yeah. been for a while now but that was good because she would make me do yeah. the things that were out of my comfort zone absolutely so you know maybe one day get back to that or oh no what was terrible was the um, in Girls Gone RX yeah. the rope pull from yeah from four, I failed up. miserably at that so okay. that would be really shit if that came up but yeah anything like a rope pull <laughs> <or> yeah <laughs> how far are we with our pull ups um, how, how close are we still struggling even with a slow negative because okay. I can start slow and then just immediately okay. immediately drop. Okay. Um, same with the ring dips. I'm trying yes. to slow down that negative because I think you, you meant to do a five second one. I think one of the levels yeah, yeah. was five yeah. seconds a and five I'm, second I may be at two yeah. second if I'm yeah. lucky. Okay. Um, but I didn't think I'd be able to even do a ring The, the ring holds, right? Yeah. And I really yeah. surprised myself with that. So Yeah, because yeah, that's super dynamic. Little, they can move into yeah. all directions. And yeah. for us, that's already a massive win from just doing a dip on a box, yeah. right? It's just holding so, you in the rings. So slow progress, yeah. but definite progress. Definite We're still progress. doing things now that I never thought I'd be able to do. Okay. So if you could back. design your perfect workout for the Open, like if you know, like if if these three movements were to show up Ooh. in a workout, I will absolutely smash this out of the park. What would that be? I do like cardio stuff, so maybe if it was burpees or. God, I think you I'm must be the first person. You must be the first person to ever name burpees as <laughs> like. I oh yeah, I like mind, some burpees. I really don't, I don't mind them. Maybe cleans or even thrusters. Do kind of like when I think it was in girls, uh, gone RX. Yeah. I managed to PB a thruster or three okay. thrusters. 
So it blew me away. I got into, I think it was 40. And before yes. I was always stuck in like 20s or low 30s. Yeah. So to be able to hit a 40 kg yeah. for something overhead. But it's also amazing because there's all away. these people there, right? So yeah. all of a sudden the adrenaline's rushing stuff. And <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. that's something that we would like to replicate throughout the Open this year as yeah. well. Are you going to be there on the Saturdays? Have you got plans? Are you? Are you... Yeah, no, I think I can be around. For, yeah, I would like to be there for the big, the big main main event. Events. Yeah, yeah. Good. Um, and I think you're you're one of the longer, older members now. <laughs> that you might even be pulled into judging this year round. Oh no! How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'd be a bit scared to know rep people, yeah. but I have to be tough. And that's it. Absolutely. To. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll make sure that you maybe you can judge Jackie. Okay. Or Hannah. Okay. You know, somebody yeah, just, someone. Oh, no, right. Yeah. I just get right to their face. Really? <laughs> Nina, thank you. Thank you for That's joining nice. us today. No um, problem. We are looking forward to following you throughout the open anyways to see how it, this goes. No pressure. We'll see if those burpees show up. Um, <laughs> you can remind me. Yeah. You wanted these. Yeah. Do them. <laughs> Jose might just do like a little red count for you. Like oh, one, no. two. <laughs> bam, bam. One, two. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> see how those go. Um, just a quick, quick one on press-ups. You, you have your press-ups? No, a bit snaky still. Still a bit snaky. Oh, yeah. so, but the box um, press-ups are good as much as they're How good are shit those? and hard. For, yeah, yeah. Instead of just doing the same old ones on my knees no, all the time. From your knees, right? Yep. Um, so, it's, yeah, so it's good, it's good to do those. Guys, thank you very much. Just to let you know as well, the Open is starting. You'll be watching this episode. It should be starting this weekend. Um, we hope you've entered. If not, you still have till the end of the weekend to enter. Remember, it doesn't matter how good you are at CrossFit. This is a line in the sand for us every year just to know where we are uh, and to work out against ourselves from the year before and see how much better we've become. Please show up. If not to take part, at least to just support the rest of the community. And we hope to see you guys there. Because Aaron provides loads of booze and food. We do provide loads <laughs> of booze and food. So see you on the weekend. See you later, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Do you look like this when you demo. lift? <laughs> Save something. <laughs> Am I allowed to talk about how horrible Aaron is on, yes, on, absolutely. on camera? No.